Someone screenshotted and jiffed that very moment. Yes, it's it's like the time when uh, when Jonas and Sheep shared their faces on the internet. Well, we, we did that intentionally, though. Yes, Not they're, accidentally. They're out there forever, though, Sheep. Yep. Forever. They disappear. No, no take back No take back Right. Well, since we're all ready to get started, uh, I reckon we'll get underway. Uh, if there is a problem with my volume level, let me know, and I'll move the... Uh, microphone closer. I can't manage much of a volume today. Um, uh, in the last session, uh, you folks began in midair and engaged in some wonderful aerial combat versus two large red dragons who have been, uh, in a sense, reoccurring, albeit in the background. They have had opportunities to interfere and, through your choices, have uh, elected not to. Uh, they were present above the battlefield where uh, Garak dueled with the Frost Fist, and uh, they have intervened in some other events, from the uh, the attack on the Great Silver's Tower uh, to a barbarian invasion that happened in the south, that had actually been uh, sparked by dragons, rather than actual barbarian influence. Afterwards, you arrived in Prince Zarza's domain his wonderful castle that was currently being attacked by a mixture of effectively agents from the Elf Queen and the Priestess. Those agents were losing horribly. Uh, however, they left rather gaping holes in Zarza's defenses, enough for you all to... <laughs> I can't even really call it sneak in because the snowstorm <laughs> covered you. You went in and... Uh, through guidance, uh, managed to uh, enter a grand hall where the Orb of Storms awakened. Uh, the awakened Orb of Storms was kept, along with a heavily poisoned Leon and a fiercely determined Ursilia Melkor. Ursilia is now a pile of ash, and uh, Leon is stable, albeit he needs extensive medical care in order to rise from unconsciousness again. Uh, the poison uh, was uh, cured through uh, the efforts of Aurelia's pleading and beseeching and a dark elf uh, who is still there in the room with you. Along with mounted bodies, uh, there was a great battle before you even got in here and the several hundred undead, the skeletons and the zombies and ghouls and vampire bats and even a handful of wraiths tried to force their way in uh, the past hour while Eranos and uh, Olia were busy uh, attempting to pierce the wards protecting the Orb of Storms. Eranos was immensely successful, uh, enough that none of the traps were triggered and he received forewarning at the moment the Orb of Storms was picked up Prince Zarza would hear about it, no matter where he was in the world. And he immediately responded with a standard action teleport to put his ass in his home. However, as noted at the end of last session, perhaps for the first time in an entire age, Prince Zarza's a little slow on the uptake here. <laughs> now his uh, two lieutenants, bodyguards, well, it's difficult to say how their emotions are on account of the fact that, well, typical facial characteristics are gone. It's uh, kind of a mixed bag when you lose all of your skin. <laughs> and nerve endings. <laughs> and muscles. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, the Maybe point, their jaws fall off. The point being, uh, I know Griff uh, has taken a little bit of action uh, before the ritual's completion, uh, whenever we left off, uh, you individuals had this moment here uh, while the crows are settling down and will require a round to be readied to do what you'd like. If you want to tr transition to combat, we would go with the normal surprise rules for that. Prince Zarza is surprised. If you want to do something else, banter about it now and then decide what that something else is you want to do. My ass requires kicking, first of all. 
That's interesting. <laughs> it shows that you're you're not even connected to this. I can't no, I can't I, boot I, you. You don't you're I, not real. I tried to reconnect but I couldn't, so but now I can. Yeah, we want we want to boot your ass, but <laughs> I like the thing is though, my brain was totally like you you want to get hit by the prince? Like what? <laughs> I was on the same page. I am ready. I mean, he needs to have a lot of mental defense attacks that he could just blast me with. I need some of that. I mean, he is fearless, so I suppose that could exactly. make him stupid. <laughs> Give me your best... <laughs> Turns out that all the fearless animals died. So. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're gonna transition into combat. Yeah. I am all for the jumping. I... Did Aranas have time in the moment? Uh, to put the thing away, I'm literally holding like in my hand, looking over precariously at this lich prince. <laughs> uh, this orb of storms awaken now is bigger than Aranas's fist. Uh, you can put it away somewhere if you have a sufficient space with. You would like to put it away. Backpack, I would think, would be the place. Sure. So Aranas is going to basically be like snapping his backpack closed then. Yeah. Okay. Ready to ready to fight if needed. We're kind of prepared for this sort of thing to happen. So we also decided that uh, Aurelia is holding the Hexen blade. All right. Uh, I'm. <laughs> in that case, sheep, you're the one uh, who gets to enjoy the imagery uh, displayed by Hexen blade. Hexenblade is more than happy through its quirk to take Aurelia on a mental, like, picture book travel of all of the good times and experiences that she and Leon have had together. Aww. That is surprisingly nice. All right. It, it is uh, not attempting to be forceful or cruel or attempt to control you. However, it does have imagery pop into your mind, like emotion coming from it, of remember these moments. It was doing the same with Tempus. Mm -hmm. So really, it's it's trying to make you help Leon, some fashion anyway. You know, I. Although, sure. if, if I remember, it, the memories of me and Leo, Tempus and Leon are more of a sort of comic book humor, especially Leon <laughs> falling down the stairs after the, Tempus. They are also more intense due to the extra time that Tempus and Leon spent together. Uh, and I'm holding the other one. Uh, yes, uh, it uh, is not <laughs> pleased in any way, shape, or form with this Maliator, as earlier conveyed to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> With that, really he picks that. it up and it's like, yes, Tempest. Just what I wanted. No, so it's, it's exactly the opposite. It's more like... Uh, uh, Anti-poles. Two you need to you, not press together. Effectively, it went. You need to make some different life changes. <laughs> Have you life heard choices. the Lich King? <laughs> Have you heard of the Lich King? Yes. Have you heard of our one true savior? Let me just with flip the, those Agnes dice around. Yeah. With the uh, the icon relationship dice, I know Aranos has two free command points, courtesy of the Great Gold Worm. Yes. Of course, Aurelia has her Archmage 5 and Garak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, buddy. I'm I have taking two good from, care the, of you. Uh, from the right. three as well, don't uh, I? Uh, you didn't roll that uh, for uh, for this transition to this session, but I would allow you to keep them from uh, okay, what you rolled sure. before. Uh, in that case, if what you want to transition to is combat, uh, then we'll uh, need a nomination for one person to act during the surprise round, and then whoever rolls highest on the initiative. Uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. I would save myself first. Okay. I have got very little left, so I shouldn't. Something to remember, uh, Griff, mm -hmm. is you do have the codex of, for, of the Fortnite Victory. Yep, and that's going to be used. <laughs> oh, well, then you'll probably be acting in the initiative. In, then in I would suggest anyway. Then I would suggest Jirak really to get. Up there. Can, get up I there. Can okay. Come to you and intercept if anyone uh, tries to get you. Get ready to take a beating. Yeah. That's what I do. Okay. Uh, then you folks can go ahead and roll your initiatives, and they will sort themselves. 
I'm going to push the button and add 10. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> 43, all right. Well, you rolled a you rolled an eighteen. You'll, you'll oh, probably act going... first. Oh yeah, I'm oh, going first. Mm. That train's gonna start stop triggering. Let's see here. Let me roll Olia's. Not bad, Olia. Um, this might be a strange question, but does she have like healing searches? No. 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 This uh, was definitely tackled uh, last week. Uh, she was ripped apart by the bats, too. Uh, she doesn't have any recoveries. All right. Okay. Well, uh, let's see here. <laughs> then uh, the guaranteed person, well, <laughs> to act. Well, you folks didn't actually nominate who you wanted. Was it Garak? Garak. Garak, yeah. okay. Uh, well, Tempest, why don't you go ahead and act first during the surprise round? <laughs> Um, Tempest will see, you know, Prince Zarza appear, immediately draw his cogwork short sword and uh, dart towards Prince Zarza. So that would be the, the movement to engage. Okay. Uh, Prince Zarza is, well, Tempest can't really say that he's seen that many liches in his time. Uh, or <laughs> really many individuals of an undead caliber other than, you know, recently. Uh, Will he know of a phylactery? <laughs> uh, that being said, uh, well, perhaps Tempest has heard of it at some point during his travels with the, the group over the course of this campaign. Uh, Tempest, uh, excuse me, uh, Prince Zarza is covered in decadent finery, the trappings of nobility from the slender uh, rod uh, it appears to have been finely honed out of bone uh, to the diamonds and sapphires draped like as a mantle over his upper body uh, to the uh, the crown that the creature wears upon its head. The uh, eyes are two pinpricks of red light which are slowly moving it's difficult to read expressions <laughs> in these eyes, uh, but they are moving towards Tempest. Okay. Uh, Tempest, as his movement, is he's, he's darting on towards Prince Arsa. As doing so, he's drawing the cogwork short sword. And he's raising his fist. He's trying to do a slash and then punching at Prince Arsa's head with his thief strike. Okay. And I will know I am going to be using the epic tier. All Epic right. feet on this. Uh huh. Let's uh, see whether you can actually hit Prince Arza first. Okay, so it's 1d20 plus 8 plus 8. And this is against. Physical... Plus 8. Your dexterity modifier is not plus 8. Uh. Oh, der. Level is 8. <laughs> your uh... level is 8. Yes, your dexterity modifier is not plus 8. Uh. Oh, yeah. da, 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 da. Apparently, I have a plus 14 modifier to hit. Well, let's see here. Your dexterity modifier is what? Six. Six, and then you have a plus two from your cogwork short sword and a <laughs> plus eight from level. I think that's a plus 16 total. Plus 16. <sighs> that misses. With goes the thief strike. Uh, it doesn't so much with as Tempest is so used to attacking organic targets that the blade like cuts into the robe and effectively bounces off of hardened bone. Huh. Well, in the plus side, that doesn't use my epic feet. <laughs> Does not. Uh, Gogur has once again vanished yeah, I, from I, the I, server. I, uh, I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> but uh, I do believe that you wanted to... Uh... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm short again, okay. but I'm gonna double move to uh, Olias spot. Okay, that has been handled. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, we will transition to the normal rules of combat now. Uh, I will go ahead and roll initiative checks for Prince Zarza. That is a poor roll for Zarza. Mm -hmm. The Spectre. Mm -hmm. And the Evolved Ghast. 
What kind of role was that for you, Zarza? <laughs> One! Uh, was <laughs> That was a two. <laughs> he has a plus 17 to initiate. Yeah, that's just from his level. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> well, uh, as uh, Prince, uh, as the surprise fades, uh, uh, Tempest then, uh, before he acts, will see a shimmering uh, amethyst sparkles appear around Zarza's body. Uh, Zarza will look at Tempest and he says, It's so good to be home. Tempest, your turn. And Tempest, you know, from his total foul up from bouncing off of Prince Zarza, will try again. Better give you a good greeting. Welcome home. Kill him with missed damage. <laughs> the attack does not deal miss damage. It does not deal oh. miss damage. Well, <laughs> physical defense. That just manages to hit Prince Zarza. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, let's handle half of your weapon plus dexterity damage first. Okay, so this okay. is... Go ahead and just roll it normally and I can divide by two. I can handle that. I'm a big boy. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember what all my damage is. Well, uh, your... Uh, it's been sword... so long since I've been in combat. See here, your short sword, uh, because you're a rogue, would be a d8. So you would do 8d8 plus 15 plus 17. 8d8 plus 17 damage. And I'll divide that by 2. Oh, ignore that roll. Uh, wait, no, that is the roll to hit the... Never yes, mind. that's the roll that's... to hit. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to ignore you hitting? <laughs> Because <laughs> I can do that. Man, these rogue powers are just getting strange. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they okay. are. Right, my head was spinning. Okay, 88 plus 17 plus... I didn't get sneak attack, because... No, you did not. The ghast inspector are not your allies. I mean, no! If once per day, you can deal full damage, right? Yeah, why not? I'll do field damage with the three strikes. I'll use my champion as well, why not? Okay. It's not as if I'm going to use it multiple times, maybe. I don't think this is a battle where we should say, like, pull punches. No. No. Roll the fucking damage already! <laughs> Holy <Right>. fuck! <laughs> okay. You deal 51 points of damage to Prince Zarza, and what? You need to roll your normal save to see whether you can actually pickpocket an item from him. You uh, fail. Oh. Oh. Still have the epic peep. I've used my champion. You, uh, the sword uh, crashes into the amethyst sparkles surrounding Prince Zarza. The, uh, the lights flicker for a second, as if to simulate blinking. He doesn't really move, though, even after that solid hit. Uh, well, give me a moment. I'm going to enable this as my daily. I basically, he, anything that tries to attack me takes 10 damage before it, it hits me, takes 10 damage, and then I take the damage. If it makes a natural odd attack roll. Yeah. It may make a natural even attack roll. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to do with your turn? Uh, yeah, there. Jazz hands. <laughs> Okay. And, and that's that's my turn. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, hmm. What would you do? Well, they all are grouped up. Olia is in her weakened state, going to breathe at one individual, and uh, that individual is going to be who she thinks is the weakest, and that would be the specter. As she will inhale deeply and let out a gout of, of wonderful ice. And does manage to hit the specter for 60 points of damage. And the specter is dazed. Priestess Olia then... Uh, she looks around. And she, some distance. she moves oh, to engage. Shit. Oh shit. Why? <laughs> the evolved ghast looks hungrily at Olia 
And uh, before it's about to attack, Zarza spins his head fractionally and says, Don't kill them. I actually do want to have a conversation. The yes. guest looks <laughs> probably as disappointed as <laughs> the guest could possibly look in this spot. And uh, as three of four of you are nearby, it will howl. Your Yay. end is nigh. This will go against Alia first. That misses Alia. This will go against Tempest next. This is Tempest. This will go against Garak. This is Garak. This will go against Aranos. This is Aranos. Oh my god! Mental defense things. Those, uh... <laughs> <laughs> More than a 50% chance of hitting all of us, I think. <laughs> Good work, Evolve Gast. <laughs> <laughs> it was so disappointed. <laughs> the Gast, so upset by the fact that it's not allowed to just rip into someone's flesh. Uh, psychic damage. Ends its turn. The Spectre is actually going to exact retribution. How will it do so? Hmm. It will attempt to hit Alia. Hovering through the ghast with its icy, life draining touch. And miss. <laughs> All right. You Look. actually, Tempest is close enough, you hear a sigh come out of Prince Zarza. Uh, prince uh, Tempest will just sort of lightly shrug at the prince <laughs> as a quick action. Prince Zarza rotates his head again. Victor, what are you doing? The specter does not reply. <laughs> That's kind of adorable. Um, all right, am I in a position where I can fight as normal, or do I have to spend actions to like get battle ready? You may fight as normal. Right, I suppose he's just slumped the the backpack around his uh, his shoulder. Uh, just to get it out of the way, though, um, because I imagine I'm going to need this because I spend a spell on actually casting the ritual. Uh, I'm going to use my invocation of healing, which means that this this battle I have another cast use of the heal spell, and the first one I use is a free free recovery instead of actually spending one. That's sure. a quick action to use. Then uh, that. Spectre there was the weakest one. Uh, this is specifically for you, Manakai. Yeah. Your Tooth of the Green is actually chanting Kill the Lich Prince. Yes, I shall. Well, you know what? There's rare times where we agree on something. Now I won't. Hmm. But, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, with, with that in mind, uh, he's probably, uh, he was going to go for the Spectre, but if it's actually chanting that, then it, uh, it is. It has not been this forceful in Aranos's mind for some time. All right. I mean, apparently this Lich Prince is not good friends with the Green. So, hey. <laughs> I mean, that's something new. Uh, so he'll move up and attack the Lich Prince, because you know that's what we're doing here. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty good roll. That does manage to hit Prince Zarza. Great. Command points. You got four command points. Yep. Wow. That's a four on a d4. The, uh, the tooth exalts in Aranasa's mind. Mm -hmm. Prince Zarza's robes are cut into a bit. The form budges. <laughs> cut into like, his robes. Like, uh. like <laughs> perhaps two centimeters. And Zarza now looks between the two of you. <sighs> Is that anything? Anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, that's all. That's all. Aurelia. All right, I'm really far away, but Aurelia is Aurelia, so <laughs> far away is close. It's pretty it's close. Far away. I'm still close. So, this would take three move actions. Yeah, that's no problem whatsoever. It's fine. Uh, so from a standstill, Aurelia will start rushing forward with a normal move action. Uh -huh. Then my move action from uh, Leaf on Wind. Uh -huh. And then a springing Mantis Strike uh -huh. on Prince Zaza. Going like here. And when he uses like close by AoE, we're all going to cry. 
That's a natural 20. That's that does, good. That does manage to hit Prince Arza. That is excellent. Mm. Uh, Grating Fist on top of that. Ooh, that's a good roll on that as well. Jesus. For a total of 148 Damn. damage as Ooh. the rocket powered Aurelia from his standstill rushing towards Zaza, just slamming into him fist first with all her, all her speed and weight. Hopefully hitting more than the rope. That is a square punch right in Zarza's jaw, enough to create a few cracks and splinters. Zarza's eyes flicker over towards Aurelia. Thank you, Aurelia. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be my turn. Okay. Garak. Now then, should we just gang up on Sarsa, or should we take out some you, of these more? Do you see guys? a pattern here? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I, I mean, taking out some... He's not He's not staggered yet, but we take some time to deal with him. We've yeah, got I, I so. points I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll probably shoot at the mooks, so... They yeah. are most definitely not mooks. Well, you can, yeah. you the, can the idea run, is to uh, challenge You can try Sorsa, to get so the, the Spectre out quickly, and then, yeah. Yeah, I, I could also challenge Sorsa, that's the thing I was thinking of. Yeah, that does, but... You, you're a paladin, you know your things better than I do. Yeah, let's uh, do this, and uh, try to hit Sorsa. Alright. Is uh, he counting as a bony enemy? Yes. <laughs> He is most definitely a lich. Yeah. Empty. That misses. I didn't factor in the uh, bonus, but yeah. What bonus? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Excuse me. <laughs> 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 then I will heal Olya. And the lich takes eight damage. Uh, she doesn't really have a recovery, uh, but she can heal a few hit points, sure. Alright. Ah, hey, Here comes the pain train. Prince Zarza's turn. Target rich environment for Prince Zarza. Hi, guys. I mean, at least he's not disengaging, probably. Swivels around. And uh, the Lich does let out another huff, a sigh, and says, I suppose we can talk tomorrow. Uh, as uh, he will activate one of his spells targeting everyone nearby. This is close quarters. Uh, so, five individuals with Solrend. We'll go down the line here. This will be against Priestess Olia. That hits Olia. As uh, she takes 30 points of negative energy damage, and ghostly hands reach up from the ground and grab her as they try to rip her spirit out of her body. This is against Garak. That's the same result against Garak. Garak is grabbed, as is Olia. Oh, and uh, here's your grabbed descriptor. You're engaged, can't move away unless you teleport, somehow pop free first or successfully disengage. Your disengage checks take a minus five penalty, uh, and hitting Zarza will not save you as a normal grab would. And uh, Zarza would get a plus four attack bonus against you. This is against Tempest. Mm -hmm. That misses Tempest. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, just give me a second. Ah, oh, damn it. It's not a melee trike. No, it's definitely not melee. <laughs> you're, you're, you're thinking of redirecting that. Yes, this I, was, is, I was thinking of it, yeah. This is against uh, Aranos. That definitely hits, yeah. 30 points of negative energy damage, and uh, Aranos is grabbed, and this is against Aurelia. Oh, that hits. Let me see if I can half that. Grabbed. Nope. <laughs> But since it's targeting multiple people, I still only take half. Yes, but Aurelia is still grabbed all the same. Unfortunately. Get out of grabbed. Uh, oh! Uh, mm, never mind. Uh, getting out of grabbed takes a disengage check, and it would be a minus five penalty 
unless you can't even. Hitting Prince Zarza will not save you from this grab. All right, so we basically have to disengage. You would basically have to disengage, yes. All right. Zarza will not move, but uh, he'll rotate his head back towards Aurelia. Jasmine. Well, I'm going to go ahead and... Um... And Jasmine apparently acting quite slowly, apparently not getting the entire message about the prince showing up. Busy with the crows. Yes, busy with the crows. Mo moving here, and um, as a quick action, I want to apply the ho holy oil to my bow. All right. Because I have that, so might as well. And I'm going to fire at this spectre. Okay. Go for it. That manages to hit the spectre. And will stagger the spectre. Okay, then. Um, second shot. Against who? Um, oh, also make against the spectre. Okay. Come on, double the 20. That, Not quite. That misses the spectre. Uh, I thought it would. Make the sure a lot of hit points. Yes. And because you have missed the spectre, you take eight points of negative energy damage. Ooh. I forgot about this. Okay, then. Not too bad. Anything else for your turn? Uh, I moved, I used my quick, I used my standard, I have nothing. The escalation die goes to one, but you can't use it because the spectre is in combat. Mm-hmm. Uh... Tempest, your turn. We're going to go with the strike again. Ooh, let's try it. Can't use the escalation dice, as you just said. However, I still can't use what I'm thinking of. But as a quick action first, I'm wanting to use one of my adventure ruins on my weapon. Can someone give me the macro for it the... It wouldn't add any bonuses to it. You'd just get whatever benefit the rune might give you beyond that. The exactly sword. what I'm looking for. Alright. You can take your value as a uh, quick action. 